Hi, this is Susie. I'm at the Boy Stuff Show and we've got loads of exciting stuff to show you. But right now, I'm here with Dr. Mark Jordan, who is the creator of all those Rover Sapiens that you've seen so much about. And we've got some new, very exciting stuff coming up. So we're going to have a quick word with him and see what's in the pipeline. Right, Dr. Mark, I see here we've got loads of exciting stuff. So start me from the beginning. We started up there, didn't we? With our burping party, a little Rover Sapiens there we friend. Go. Okay. What we did is we created the body of George Jetson, but the brain of Fred Flintstone. And he did pretty well. He sold a four million worldwide. Yeah. Because what we did is, is that we did something that had never been done in commercial robotics. That is, we took the serious out of it. By making something which burped and farted its way into kids' hearts, it just seemed to be something that satisfied a piss and primal need. Everyone loves burping and farting. But also, basically, you know, like pick up and throw and really walks. Even One of the better. things I was so proud about was, when I grew up, every time a robot toy, you pick him up and there were wheels underneath. This guy really walks and, of course, like a 28-hour battery life. That's a long he time. He can walk a long way. A long way. So then, now we've got these um, incredibly scary looking things back here. Well, the thing is, is that I've always wanted my own pet dinosaur. Okay, all right, it's taking me a long time, but we're getting better and better. <laughs> uh, this year is Robo Reptile, and the cool thing is, is that everything you've ever wanted in your own personal Velociraptor, he's nasty, he's vicious, he's cat scaringly fast. Brilliant. But he has a secret, and that is, he's scared of the dark. Right? So basically you can train him, but you can't tame him. And he works really well. He's got quite a vicious tail going on there. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. well. There you go. It's all very Jurassic Park. Very much. And as I say, this is life-size to a baby Velociraptor from 65 million years ago. The cool thing is it won't leave all kinds of bits of, you know, like eggshell. Perfect. You're actually looking quite Jurassic Park there. There it's we go. It's a very yeah. nice work. <laughs> so then, this, is, uh, this looks quite exciting. What we've done is we've combined the best of modern multimedia technology with the humanoid technology we've come up with the past little while to build the world's first walking, talking cell phone and MP3 player. It's a cell phone as well. So what happens is that the RS media winds up having a quality woofer, an MP3 playback mechanism, a high quality video camera in his forehead, directional speakers in his hands. So what he does is this one called 3D sound sculpting oh, as he good. plays a song. He basically carves it through the room. Also comes with a variety of different sort of personalities and functions. The cool thing is that he can get up, get down, and he can play <laughs> non-stop music for hours. Even as a shuffle mode. Fantastic. So let me ask you, what is your house like? Have you got hundreds of these things running around doing your bidding? Getting you out of bed just, and just about 66 or so. 60, oh, that's Yeah, that's nothing. right. But the thing was is that these were all, the ones that I basically worked on when I was a scientist, they were all strange. They're all small. Like my favorite is the piss bot. It's a robot that basically lives behind my toilet that comes out and basically <laughs> picks up any little extras, right? Um, problem is, is that great idea, but how do you sell it, right? You know, um, things like electric wallpaper and my window cleaners. My robot window cleaners would scare flies into the jaws of my robot penis, penis fly trap. I would kill them and drop them on the floor where my dust bunny cowboys would clean them up. <laughs> um, worked great, okay? But you try to impress a girlfriend with that, right? You know, and my mother never stepped foot in my house because she's afraid that these robots would crawl into her ear and take over her brain. Well, let me tell you right now. Movement detected. I've been living with these guys for over 15 years. And never once have they, you know, like stolen a beautiful lab assistant and run off into the hills. And believe me, if that happened, man, I would be so there with video camera. <laughs> I would be so blogging that. There we go. You see, I think, to be honest, our readers would be incredibly impressed with this kind of stuff. This is what we love.